And what's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do. And this is going to be a different video. So I was actually reached out to and asked to review this product. I initially was not going to, but then I decided, what the heck, why not? The thing is, if you say no to everything or most things, then there's a lot of things you'll never get to experience. And I'm not feeling the greatest right now, so my voice might not be its normal and I might not be my normal self, but I still want to make this video. So anyways, this company reached out to me. I thought it was unique, it's different. It's got a remote for the power bank. Sometimes you'll find things that are gems, you know? One of a kind, ultra cool. You'll never see something like it again. Sometimes you find things that probably shouldn't exist, but here we go. This company did reach out to me. They did provide the sample to me to review. They are not paying me to make this video, but that was pretty cool. So I figured, heck, why not I'll make a video? So there's all the information there. Man, I really, really should probably wait to make this video because my voice is, man. All right, so we've got this on the right. She's a chunker, she's a chunker. Then we got this on the left. All right, so we have some sort of instruction booklet here. All right, so yeah, let's go to Type-C to Type-C, Type-C to DC, oh, that's pretty cool. Use the Type-C to Type-C to connect the power bank and charge it, pretty cool. All right, before we get started using the unit, this is something important. Apparently the remote controls the USB-A or the DC port. So it says this is not possible to charge using the USB-C port while the remote control is used. All right, so we'll get the remote in the box here. Just a little on and off. All right, let's take a look at the unit. All right, so we have a logo here. It has instructions that you can peel off once you remember them. It's got a power button. Right now, three of the four lights are lit up. On the front, we have the output, which is 12 volts, 4.2 amps. And then we have five to 20 volts at three amps and five to 12 volts at 1.5 amps. On the back of the unit, we have some information such as the fact that it can do up to 65 watts maximum. Nothing on the sides or this. It's just all here in the front, that's it. All right, so it comes with a USB-C cable. We connect it to a 100 watt power brick. Obviously up to 65 is a good option, but I like to always go with higher. At least more wiggle room, and it also allows for the heat to not be so bad. I'm gonna plug in my tester here, plug in the charger. All right, and right away we see that it's charging up to 20 volts, and we're, yep, we hit three amps. So now we're charging at 60 watts almost. We have three of the four lights currently flashing, so it is getting closer to the end of charge. Before it fully charges, I wanna try something. So let me get a USB fan, and we're gonna put it in the on position. So since we pressed the button, so one, one little press there, the fan is currently on. Press off. Ha! It literally kills the power to the fan. That's pretty cool. And then you can just press the on button and it turns on. Let me let me get everything in the shot here because I can get all of look off. And I can hear that the motor is stopped and the blades are slowing down. And then we'll press on and it turns on. That's pretty cool. Then obviously it controls the DC port as well. Oh, I've seen this one. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll just press the button. Now it's on and we'll turn it off. And it's really quick too. There's no delay really. And if you want to go into a permanent mode where it doesn't use the remote at all, you're gonna hold down this button after you press it. Alrighty, so the power bank is now full. And one of the things I noticed is the fact the cable it comes with is actually only a 60 watt cable. So right now we're using a 100 watt cable. And here it actually shows that on my tester that the cable's capable of doing 100 watts. So anyways, the unit's now completely full. Let's go ahead and unplug it. We have all four lights lit up. What I wanna try now is that DC output. So we're gonna use the 12 volts here. And then I'm gonna plug in a different power station here and we're gonna see what happens. This might not even make it to the video. I don't know, we'll see. So on. So I turn it on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I pressed the on button. And now this thing is doing some things. All right, let's kind of see what we get as far as the input here. So yeah, it looks like we're stopping at around 72 watts of uh, input. All right, something else I want to test is this old guy here. Let's see what happens. Turn that off. 
And yeah, so the light on this thing is flashing, indicating that it is receiving power. This thing is nearly a decade old, so. But yeah, so this thing is charging this. And why would you wanna do something like this? Well, for me, the answer is simple. This one doesn't have an AC output, so you can plug in like a normal household item. This looks kind of funny, but it actually can easily do a normal household plug. And then we turn it on and flip the switch on the fan, and now the fan's being powered by the battery. And then I can unplug this, and now the light isn't flashing, indicating that it's not receiving a charge anymore. It's going to deplete the battery. But with this inputting, it should actually be able to input fast enough where this thing can become completely full and this has still been running the whole time and this is drained. All right, what we're gonna do now is test the USB-C output real quick. We're gonna plug up our laptop, which can draw up to 100 watts, but this thing can't do 100 watts. And I'm not sure the battery level of my laptop, so it may not even charge. All right, yeah. So after plugging in the laptop, you see the little light. It's a little orange light. And also, this shows they can do up to 65 watts. It's currently charging the laptop at 47. If I open the screen, it'll jump up because now the laptop's being used. But yeah, so it's up to 65 watts of output to my laptop. Probably more like 60, but that's still really cool. This thing can do 100, but 60 is more than enough to keep this battery to charge at, you know, it's close to its full speed and to get a full charge. This is a pretty large battery. All right, before we end this video, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test the capabilities of this USB-C port and see all of its protocols. So the remote's pretty cool. The fact that you can lay in bed and turn a USB fan on or off or USB lights on or off or a DC powered fridge or something, you know? So let's go to the inputs here and be ready. Auto. I will say I really, really wish this had another USB-C port. I truly wish it did. All right, so look at that. We've got Quick Charge 3. There's that information right there. We've got FCP. There's that. We have AFC. There's that. And then we got PD3. And look at that. We got PPS. And what does that mean? That means when you plug it into your Samsung phone, you're going to see super fast charging. So that's cool. If you have an older Samsung, you'll only get super fast charging 1.0, which is up to 25 watts. If you've got a newer Samsung like mine, they actually changed it where you don't need five amps of PPS. You can actually use more voltage. So let's see, let's plug it up. And yeah, if you've got a newer Samsung, you can definitely charge this thing at super fast charging 2.0, which is up to 45 watts. So I'll show that to you again. We'll unplug it, plug it back in. Super fast charging 2.0. Let's freaking go. Now my battery is at 61%, so it's not gonna charge at its full 40 watt speed, but this thing could definitely do it. And no, the remote should not affect. Oh, so interesting. It will actually turn that USB-C port off. What if we press the on button and see? Oh, I thought it was only gonna do the USB-A. Okay, so it looks like it actually turns the USB-C off when you press off, but it won't turn the USB-C back on when you press on. Interesting. Okay, so we'll... All right, yeah, so super fast RG 2.0. And then if we press the off button, it'll actually cut the USB-C power. And if we press the on button, it will not reactivate the USB-C power until we do it through here manually. All right, so we turn the unit back on. One last time, plugs in, cool, very cool. So yeah, I mean, the, the remote function still works with USB-C, but it limits it to only off, that's it. Which is still cool if you're like, hey, I know it's done, I don't want this draining anymore. You just go ahead and press off and it'll turn that off. So this is by far one of the most unique power banks that I've ever had a chance to check out. And it's definitely for its like size and shape and everything too, it's pretty cool. I would like to have seen it do 100 watts instead of 60, and I would have loved to have seen two USB-C so that we can input USB-C power and output USB-C power for pass-through charging. All right, so right now we're <laughs> what we're gonna do now is plug this in to get our USB-C input charging. Cool, so we're charging. And what I'm curious about is if this thing can do 
the 12 volts out while it's inputting 60 watts of power. So we're going to try this, plug this in, and okay, so the light's flashing, but this is not doing anything. What if we unplug this? Does it do anything? No. So we turn it on with the on button here. All right, cool. So now that's flashing on it, so it's charging. What if we try to input power now? All right, so yeah, it's uh, not accepting any input while it's doing it. So if we turn it off, this thing cycles, and yep, now it's glowing orange, and it's accepting an input. So we can't do input and output at the same time. So this thing definitely has its limitations and you know things that don't make it necessarily the perfect power bank for everyone. But there's definitely going to be some people out there that see this and go, oh, I can power my USB lights for my office or my outdoor camping, you know, whatever, or that USB fan or that 12 volt refrigerator. And then it's like, okay, I can, I don't know why you turn it off because you need the refrigerator. I don't know. Lots of uses for this. And there's going to be somebody out there that this is like, oh, that's the perfect solution for, for me, for my use. It's pretty cool. I'll have a link to this in the description below. This is what with Josh you, and I'm out.